As you know, last week Adobe announced a new Photoshop beta version with integrated AI features. I made a video about this here where I explain what those new features are and how you can use them. And right now I saw something very funny. Someone posted a series of extended images of very famous viral photos. You can see them here. And I thought it would be a good chance to let you show how you can do this for yourself. And instead of using famous photos, I used famous paintings. And let's start with one painting that I really like, Starry Night from Van Gogh. And I really like this image, of course, but uh, let's say that you want to have it bigger, you want to see more of it, and you want to have it printed in, a, in another format, for example, then you just have to change the canvas size. Let's say, for example, I want it this size. And then the only thing you have to do is to select the area you want to be extended, but just make sure to include a piece of the image so that Adobe will use this as a reference to extend the image. In the prompting area, don't write anything, just click on the generate button and Adobe will make the best possible effort to create three samples of possible extended image and you can choose between the three or generate three more if you are not satisfied with it. And you keep doing this until you have a result that you really like. What I also noticed lately is that the generation of new images from Photoshop is very slow, probably because many are using it now and that's uh, quite an issue now. Adobe just gave me a couple of results. Let's check them. The first one, the second one, and third one. And I think the first one is actually the best. Let's keep it. Then let, let's extend this part. On the right side, I will choose now the image I like most, and then move on to the bottom and the top side of the image to extend it to the full canvas. Here we'll choose this second one that I do really like. And now let's go on to the top. Here I have the three results. I really do like this one, the second one. So this is okay for me. If uh, you want to extend it further, there is no problem. You just can ex extend the canvas size, but I'm happy with the results I got. You can obviously do the same with any other image you want. Here, for example, I have the Mona Lisa and the extended the image. It actually looks super nice. I'm very surprised about how powerful this tool is. Keep in mind, it works best on art and abstract images than on real photos because there you can sometimes really get strange artifacts. So there you have to work quite a bit more to get it right. But uh, overall, it's quite a funny way to work out your images in a very creative way you couldn't, uh, you couldn't do before. So if you like to remain up to date with all those new AI features that will change the world of imagery and also photography and art, then please uh, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming videos. See you soon, folks.